Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. <laughs> yeah, any longer I would have freaked out. Tell you, this next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just caught something in my eye! What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I'm not certain, Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems that the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all the wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Hello, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dark! You two are so are feet away from each other! Why are you texting? <laughs> Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, of course... Because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! <laughs> hey, Frisk. What's with that weird expression? Sans, did I not tell you... Did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked me to call... Then asked to call me mother. Oh boy. Wow, Frisk! This really puts our relationship in a new light! Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever? But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> Toriel, you must have no idea. What the fuck you just say about Goat Mom? You little bitch. <laughs> no, just kidding. So, Ascor, uh, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Okay. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course, I'm going to go out and, uh... Oh. Um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit! Everyone! A celebration to be losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing the Frisk is the best thing to do to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... <laughs> huh? What is it, Asgore? Oh... What's in... Anime? Oh my god. Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but, uh... Uh, it is with both of these things, and I have to say, some of my favorite anime have swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Oh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh... Um, that's the, uh, that's the wrong... Uh, never mind. <sighs> Golly, were those 
those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> okay. Psst, Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore Toriel are uh, ever going to get back together? Honestly, I don't know. But I... I don't know. I'm gonna say yeah, because I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope, too. Just think of how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gory. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. Toriel never tried to kill me. I still have a lot of people to go visit, though. Alright. I guess I'm gonna meet you guys. I'm gonna cut around and meet you guys. Be right back. As a youth, I would sneak out to play by this creepy flaming pit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find it. Now it's my special place. It's nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. Okay, well, I don't know who you are, but that's really cool information. We were hired by Metaton to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. Sleeping sounds is taking a nap. Why do I look like a black sausage and not a knight or a wizard? Well, everyone has an angle they look best from. True. The core is made up of interchangeable rooms. Before you came here, the layout was altered so you'd get lost and perish. Yes, just for you. Do you feel special? Yes, I do. I feel really special. In the head. Thanks. You make me feel like I'm insane. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests this time. Or ever again. Blub, blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Ah, I see what they did there. So if we're leaving, will my job? Uh, and I was just getting it, and I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core. <laughs> I see what you did there. I approve. The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Mm, yeah, probably. Humans aren't nearly as fun as monsters. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll just keep going. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you guys later. Good news, the elevator's still working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. The elevator's in use. So, we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ha, ah, my boss, I love that guy. And by that, I mean I hate him so, so much. So, we're free now. Does that mean my double date is cancelled? I know, it wasn't really a, a date. Here's a trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time. It makes you feel better. Don't tell anybody this, little buddy, because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand at everyone getting free somehow, even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my... <clears throat> qualifications, 
it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star, or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as they say, nowhere to go but up, literally in this case. I guess I do eat it there. Well, I don't have enough money for that Metaton face steak. So let's head this direction. No response. It's locked from the inside. Trying to finish up work. Alright. I won't bother you then. So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like cool. Yeah, like cool. Like millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops, like really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? <laughs> it's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no. We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? Okay. Hmm. Now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's, like, your dream, Caddy. But, Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And, in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy. Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're, like, so taste cute. Oops. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you ever saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so coolest looking. I think that was a dog. I pet it for, like, an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. Okay, you two, I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> I'm done with that. We're leaving. Bye. I'm so excited. I'm... <laughs> oh my god, that voice. I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be a modest success. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. I guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Alright. I won't bother going left. What? Do you want a, a rematch? No, I was... I'm gonna skip over this entire section of the game. Because I don't feel like going through this trying to fight people. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember any battles in this part of the game. Besides the, you know, boss fights. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Fluffy Buns Y. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the capsule and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms, the crowd grew silent, he leaned towards the microphone expression, stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Okay, is Asgore goat? Eh, goat? Actually, that reminds me, Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. She never wore it again. That was quite... What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a really interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parent flows into the child, causing the child to grow at the parent's age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Ah, uh, that sucks. 
Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> Alright, and now, we're done talking to him. So, as we finish talking to him, let's keep moving. Whoa, Tam here news. Very goods. Whoa, Tam here news. Very goods. Yeah, yeah, Thames can go free. A pleasing development, no? Whoa, if Thames can go on surface, can see lots of cute human. Everyone goes free, but Tem, Tem not leave. Tem watch egg. Tem will be happily family. It's hard boiled. Hoives. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they were willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. She's waiting for someone to let her out. Oh no. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. Boy, welcome to the Tem Shop! Makes battle too easy. Okay. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Okay, I guess Temmy doesn't get a bunch of cool dialogue. That's unfortunate. The housing market will probably crash now. But, you know, home is where the heart is. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. Okay. Snail, snail, you reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. There you are, Frisk Darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alphys completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had, uh, forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer, and Napstabool here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together, it really feels overdue, doesn't it? Yes, it does, because I've read all your diaries. I'm... whatever. Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi. Human, I'll never forget when you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever been had so much fake in my faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light inside my window. I saw the snails in the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Oh, okay, I won't forget it. And I'm being picked up by my head. This feels silly. We can go and see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. Seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. <gasps> Knowing the mouse might. Okay. I. The, the mouse did that, though. Squeak. Okay. Having an amorphous shambling family member is great. They're always moving so I can see them 100% of the, all of the time. Yeah. All of our parents have combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. <laughs> I knew it. Hmm, now 
now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got free from the underground? This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big D end on the front and call it a day? The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. Well, I'm glad you did it. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was gonna say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Soon, I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Oh, I'm ready. Hey, people don't want to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, I guess it can't all be punk peaches and punk cream. Good job. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Groby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> oh my. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whine, a whinny of dismay. <laughs> what? It's finally won a game of poker against itself? Question mark? I don't... So that means it lost. I heard Dr. Elphus told the king and queen the awful thing she'd done. The king felt so bad he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah! <laughs> I wonder who that is. It'll be nice to show humans are present under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Ah, uh, not so much. That kid over there told me it's, that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there's been nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, is anyone else weirded out by this giant shimbling amalgamates or shambling? That's what I meant to say. Okay, I can't go behind the counter. Hello, sorry, no nap, time for a nap. Snowden is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that, anyway? I don't want to move. Well, everyone else is moving, so you have to. Hello, Traveler. I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decided to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were open from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my sword to the overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Bye now, come again sometime. Maybe someone on the surface would pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. I mean, if you want to stay here, that's fine. I know how to set myself apart now, an ear piercing. Wait. <laughs> you don't have ears? We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Heh, <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? Actually, there are, in fact. 
Ha, after all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? Eh, whatever. Seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. Oh. Oh wait, this is different. Seeing as the spaghetti is still here somehow, I hear I donate it to the public. It's like a playground for your mouth. Yeah! Papyrus. Apparently it's not very good. I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers. Like 20 teen. Okay then, dude. You're kind of fooling yourself. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm, the barriers opened up? Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I'd really appreciate it. I don't mind, but are you sure you shouldn't... No? Okay. That's, that's fine. The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool, because uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Snowy. Snowy. Oh, you're the one who I talked to and was telling jokes to and that you were laughing a lot. Okay, I remember that. Good times. It's a fish rod. Yes, I'll reel it in. It's attached to the end as a note. Never mind, guys. Alright. Still just you, Frisk. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You really matured, haven't you? Leave 17 web? Sure. Thank you for the food, I really appreciate it. Even if it is made with spiders, and that's kind of weird to me. Looks like cheese has a nibble taken out of it. The exit's open? Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and con conscientious person. Whether that was for my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. That's real. Golden flowers. They must have broken your... Oh. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, well, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Bisquick climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Bisquick hated humanity. What they... Why they did, they never talked about it. 
but they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Bisquick. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Bisquick wasn't really the greatest person, while Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Bisquick and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were, they were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use their full power. I was the one that resisted, and then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took, so maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this, someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what people, what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there, and not everything can be resolved just by being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, I'll see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Golden flowers, they must have broken your fall. And guys, I'm gonna call that everything. As we traveled all the way back to the ruins. Back to where it all began. Where Toriel first saved us from Flowey. Where those flowers broke our fall, and Flowey tried to murder us. Toriel stepped in and saved our life. And honestly, nothing better could have happened. Flowey had to be the killer he was. He was insane, he was heartless, and when we finally got his heart back to him, it was Asriel all along, the son of Toriel and Asgore. He's an incredible creature, and honestly, probably one of the best friends we made here in the underground. Now I'll meet you guys at the exit at the barrier, or what's left of it. Now we can go play monsters and humans with real humans! Huh. When humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new, boundless world. Haha! <laughs> this, this adventurous spirit, it's, it's like I'm a kid again, and my children are like double children. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. Oh. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. <sighs> Alright, guys. Fifty-two minutes later. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will fall, fall you out of the underground. I'm ready. We've worked towards this. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? 
Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight's so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Isn't that obvious? Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Uh, should I do something? <clears throat> well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I'll have to do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. And it's over. Oh my. That was amazing. So, oh, I'm a reformed bully, found new cave, popular nutritionist, casually enjoys life, but I spared everyone. Spooky DJ, oh dang. Papyrus. And Sands. JN Weedle. Snow Drake and Ice Cap. Ah, I guess I didn't get the best things for the credits. Christmas display has his own seeing eye dog. <laughs> Dogami and Dogaressa are final number one nose nuzzle champions. Boy, that's because Toriel and uh, and Asgore are no longer together. Searching for affection and excited by life's changes. Undyne, designed by Toby Armor by Temi, Fashion Help, Jan Weedle, and Alphys is designed by Toby as well. Aw, she... <laughs> 9,999 damage. Oh, hey, Onion Chan is down there. I just realized that. Aaron and Mold Big. Still flexing. Idyllic Life on the Beach. Washua and Temi. Legendary Janitor. And just Temi. Mad Dummy. 
is calmed down just a bit, and Shiren is taking piano lessons again. Oh, and Metaton. I approve of that. Special inspiration, Bob Sparker, Sarah, and J.N. Weedle. Encouraging space here. Finally confesses. What? I don't. Pie rope and Muffet. Candle in the world's largest birthday cake and spider success with a new bakery. The royal guards use your imagination. Gay! Giving life its own meaning and the long battle finally ending. Stigmatism is domineering glasses seller. Magic is street magician, and Night Night is taking a well deserved nap. Amalgamates is living with their families. Blair, don't you dare. Kitty, stop. Asgore, the monster kid. Oh, hey, Asgore is trimming that into Papyrus' face, just like Papyrus said. Toriel's running a school, which is very fitting for her. Wait, Mount Edit, or Ebit? Whatever the name of it is. And finally, the end. Wait, what the? <laughs> Come on! I was. What? Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special things yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's make them all yellow! Spare them all! <laughs> well, I cannot spare all of these guys. Sorry, I'm just kind of enjoying this. This is a creative way to do all the credits. This is really creative. And there's no way it's even possible to read all this. I like how they did not care about the credits at all. So, at what point do I just say it's uh, all for naught? Alright, they're doing this again. So I don't, I don't know why any of you are still watching this. I'm gonna be honest. I don't have much else to say. Like I'm gonna leave all this in because I, this is what I do. But seriously, it's the credits. I mean, some of you might want to see me play the credits. And that's weird. You guys are weird. You guys are freaking weirdos. Why would you want to do that? You guys are probably with the weirdos who uh, enjoy playing credits all the time, don't you? Touched credits. Okay, I touched more than that. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us. An Undertale team thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts that you all this would be impossible. Good night. That's... It's it. My heart's going out. Wait, what? <gasps> Doria's bringing us butterscotch pie! Yay! I'm awake. Come on, wake up. Surprise her. Ju, jump, boo! No. 
We're gonna get so fat with her as mother. Undertale. The end. Finally. Guys. I oh, hey, this music. I love this music. This is it. We finally finished. This has been a concern of mine, I guess. I was concerned I wouldn't be able to do it. I, I, when this game was first, when this game first came out, I heard bits and pieces of it. And people were saying it was amazing. And I didn't have money at the time, so I wasn't going to be able to do it. Once again, Jocelyn, thank you! You are amazing for buying me this. Even if you kind of, you know, pulled my arm and forced me, you know. Even if you're twisting my arm trying to get me to play this. But I loved it. I wasn't sure I would be able to do this, though. The pacifist run? I've heard tales of people doing it and some people saying that it was di incredibly difficult or things. I didn't have much of an issue with it. I love this game. And I will not be doing a genocide route. Sorry, guys, but I cannot change this future. This future set in stone. There's no way I could change this, even if I wanted to. I couldn't just hit the, you know, reset button. That would be impossible. Uh, is, is it locked? Is this screen locked here? I'm gonna guess this is locked, like, a soft lock kind of thing. So, guys, thanks for watching. I've really enjoyed doing this series. I have no idea what I'm doing next. Um, I should have been thinking this up beforehand. I have a couple ideas, but I, it's nothing in my head. Uh, expect it soon. Today, as of the day I'm recording, this is actually the day I'm uploading the first episode of Fran Bo with Cassie. So, there will be those every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Portal to the DLC will be coming soon. Lincoln and I have yet to start playing again together. We need to, but we just haven't had the same schedules. And finally, uh, what other things? Dead Space, I wish I could finish already, but Justin's computer is dead. It literally just fried. It died right after we did our last session, and I was gonna have to replay something. I was like, okay, then we'll just do this, and then boom, dead, completely gone. So that sucks. We'll get back to that. It'll just have to wait until he fixes his, well, gets a new computer. It, there's no fixing that old one. Uh, any other things I want to talk about? Um... All the other series I have on hold, they all have reasons. Don't ask. I really don't want to go into it. depresses me. But they all have reasons. Trust me on that. I don't know what I'm doing next. I really wish I could tell you, but I don't yet. And thanks for watching this far. This episode's probably way over time, but I enjoyed doing it. So, thanks, guys. I'll see you in whatever next you watch of mine, and I hope you're all having an amazing day. A much less blue day than mine. Bye.